Caesars Hotel, casino company, and subsidy of El Dorado. In a four mile stretch of hedonism, their hotels stand out as affordable and fun. So, for anyone seeking a list on which hotel is the best bang for your buck, this video is for you. I'm the Ace of Vegas, and I approve this top 10 list. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Welcome back spinners and sharks to Ace of Vegas. So last time we did a big list like this, we had one viewer ask if we had a ranking of the Caesars properties on this trip. Admittedly at the time I didn't, but with a little effort and research, we were able to put together all nine Caesars entertainment properties on this trip. Well, at least the ones currently on this trip because of the El Dorado acquisition. Why did we do them all? Because as you know, I like to go Even further beyond. So saddle up that segue and prepare to live it up Here's all the best ways to live like a Caesar, all Caesar's hotels from the very best and the very worst. Number 9. Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino. The first hotel on our list is Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. Located about a mile west of Caesar's Palace, there are worse places to put a hotel on this trip. Rio is a fun, budget-friendly hotel in a tropical Brazilian atmosphere. Sadly, that's about where it ends. The rooms are pretty bland and the amenities are lacking, and frankly, the location isn't so great. It wasn't always a problem, as Rio used to provide a free shuttle to ferry guests back and forth across the trip, but as that was discontinued, the popularity of the resort declined. The dining options are decent and so is the pool, but those aren't enough bright spots for the Rio to climb any higher up on our list. Number 8. Harris Las Vegas. The Harris brand has a long history, both in and out of Las Vegas. I remember Harris being on my list for the top 11 worst hotels in Las Vegas, and while it was high on the list, I feel like it was critiqued a little too harshly last time. There's lots of good stuff to note about Harris. The Valley View rooms are recently renovated, according to one voter, and are frankly excellent. The hotel as a whole is pretty budget friendly, and this location is absolutely flawless. Like Mirage and the Venetian, flawless. But there are a few things the property struggles with, the pool being the principal concern of among them. Voters and guests alike hate the pool area. Cleanliness is a concern, and a valid one at that, so that keeps Harris down on the list. And while Harris certainly has its high points, it'll have to shine at number 8. Number 7. The Link. The center of the Link Promenade, the Link Hotel and Casino was a surprising number 7 spot. Not because it's a bad property, far from it. I just always thought it had a better reputation. There's lots of nightlife very nearby, plenty of shopping and restaurants, and of course it hosts the Link Promenade's High Roller. You figure that would draw people to the hotel, but not so much. Evidently the rooms are decidedly average and the pool is just weak as all get out. Caesars really just seems to struggle with these pools, don't they? The location is really good too, center strip across from other Caesars properties. I guess it's just an overlooked property, really, but it's good enough to high roll into the lucky number 7 spot. Number 6. Bally's. Bally's is going to be another familiar hotel on this list here. The resort made a cameo as the number 11 worst spot on my worst hotels list. If there are three problems with this hotel, these would be them. Number one, the walls are too thin. Number two, the breakfast options are too shallow. And number three, it's not a strong value for the money. The rooms are otherwise nice enough, the front desk staff is friendly, and if nothing else, it has a pretty good location for the money. It's right on top of the Grand Bazaar shops in Las Vegas, which I think are a fantastic alternative to the famous forum shops. And what more can you ask for? Spin Bally's up to number 6. Number 5. The Cromwell. The exact halfway point on the list is the Cromwell. This is sadly a very overlooked hotel, likely because it doesn't have a cheesy gimmick and isn't presented as over-the-top luxury like a lot of options on the Las Vegas Strip, which is a shame because it's very nice. It's got a great location like most Caesars properties, a subtle but well done French theme. The nightlife is wonderful, there are plenty of dining options, and the pool is surprisingly pretty cool. The rooms are pretty average as far as size goes, about 360 square feet or so for a basic room, but they're still very stylish. Even the casino is sized right. The focus on quality over quantity is clear. The only bad thing I've ever heard about, nevertheless experienced at the Cromwell, is the hotel can be a bit noisy at times. In its defense, the Cromwell is technically a pretty old hotel, open since 1979. That aside, the Cromwell is a great place to totally use your rewards, dancing to fifth place. Number 4. The Flamingo. Yeah, before you say anything, this surprised the heck out of me too. The Flamingo is the oldest hotel on this list, so obviously it suffers a few problems. The room show wear and the decor is a little dated, but otherwise the Flamingo has a lot going on for it. It's a pretty centralized strip location, has plenty of restaurants, 
two poolside bars and overall a very pretty pool area. It's also the only hotel on the Las Vegas Strip and as far as I know in the world to feature a flamingo habitat. And well people like flamingos, they're pretty cool birds. This is one of the few hotels you could almost call a historical landmark given that it's one of the only original Vegas hotels left on the Strip from the mob era. Historical status aside, it could still use a good cleaning even if El Dorado plans on selling it back to the mob, but only time will tell. But what the people are telling us now is that the Flamingo is the fourth best Caesars Hotel on the Strip. Number 3. Planet Hollywood. Planet Hollywood, potentially a mistake of a hotel to sell. Our third strongest hotel on the list definitely has some star power behind its name. And no, I'm not just talking about Whoopi Goldberg. The entertainment is pretty top notch here. Concert venues and performers come out of the woodwork around here. The hotel hosts Christina Aguilera, Def Leppard, and even Shania Twain all under one roof. If you're looking for a different musical experience, the tenor's rock show might be for you. And for non-musical acts, you can enjoy Chris saying, uh, Crazy Girls. Yes, the Crazy Girls show from the legendary Riviera Hotel and Casino survived the demise of the Riviera and has taken up residence here in the heart of Hollywood. The rooms are stylish and the dining options are varied. Quick casual bites for the budget-minded consumer, all the way up to high-end steakhouses for those living their best lives. It's certainly one of the strongest party hotels on the Strip. If anything's wrong with the place, it's that the pool is painfully average at best, or desperately needs an overhaul at the worst. I suspect you'll forget all about that by the time Planet Hollywood rolls out the red carpet and accepts its award as the number three hotel on the Caesars list. Besides, it's got Gwen Stefani and she ain't no hollaback girl, why would they be? Number two. Paris Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. In a surprising turn of events, the Paris Casino took the number two spot on our list of Caesars Hotels in Vegas. Why is that? It's got a very similar theme to the Cromwell, only a bit more exaggerated. The rooms are bright and bigger than most other properties, measuring at a respectable 400 square feet. It's incredibly budget friendly too. Most rooms that I checked online without a Caesars card turned out to be below $100 a night on average. Being attached to other great Caesars properties like Planet Hollywood and Bally's just adds extra points to Paris's top-notch location. And a top-notch location it is, right across from the Bellagio Fountains. There are over a dozen restaurants on property, including Gordon Ramsay's Steak and the illustrious Mon Ami Gabi. A trip to the pool is also a great option too, as you can lounge in the sun or even in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower replica. I've rarely heard anything wrong with the hotel, and I suspect I won't to hear anything bad anytime soon. Paris gets the due, thumbs up, and earns its number two spot on our list. Number one. Caesar's Palace. Yeah, to no one's surprise, Caesar's Palace is the number one seated, undefeated, greatest hotel in CET's Vegas portfolio. Since Jay Sarno opened the property in 1966, Caesar's has been a staple of luxury on the Las Vegas Strip. Some even credit it with the concept of full hotel theming on the Strip, though you could argue other hotels on this list did it first. Regardless, Caesar's is a mainstay that stayed a mainstay through the years. It's got a perfect location on the Las Vegas Strip, second only to Mirage in theory. But in practice, you can stay on the property your entire stay and never miss a thing. Need a nightclub? Head to Omnia. Want a good buffet? Bacchanal. How about shopping? Forum shops. Chill by the pool? Please. And by the matrix, if you get hungry and can find a way to sneak in, Hell's Kitchen is one of the coolest dining experiences in all of Vegas. And the theme is perfectly balanced. If you desperately need an even higher end luxury experience, just head up to the hotel within a hotel, Nobu, where you get all the benefits of the palace itself with that little extra touch that just makes Nobu worth the upgrade. If anything is wrong with it, I'd say that Nero's palace would be a more fitting name since he was more the party emperor, but that's literally the only thing I could think of. All hail Caesar's Palace, the best Caesar's hotel on the Las Vegas Strip. Do you agree with our list? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and give us your power rankings of all nine Caesars hotels and casinos. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like and feel free to subscribe if you want to hear from me again. But that's all the time we have today, Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas is signing out, wishing you strong hands and happy spinning.